In this video, I will consider one numerical on loop analysis. For the network shown below, find current through load register R using loop analysis. This is the given circuit. Here we have R, the value of R is 1 ohm. We are supposed to calculate the current through this load register that is 1 ohm register. So let me solve this using loop analysis. So here we can see that we have three loops. I will assume current through this loop is say I1, current through this loop is I2 and let current through this loop is I3. So here we can observe that I1 is the current in this loop where 1 amp current is flowing. So I can say I1 is equal to 1 amp because in this loop current 1 amp is flowing therefore I1 is equal to 1 amp. Now let me apply KVL to this I2 loop that is apply Kirchhoff's voltage law to I2 loop. So here there is no any voltage sources I will 0 is equal to voltage across this is just follow the direction of current voltage across minus J1 ohm is minus J1 I2 plus then this I2 will flow through this 2 ohm register where I3 is also flowing. So voltage across 2 ohm register is 2 in bracket I2 minus I3 then voltage across then current I2 flows through these 2 registers. So voltage across 1 plus J1 that is plus 1 plus J1 voltage across this is I2 minus I1 because I2 is flowing from bottom to up where I1 is flowing in opposite direction. So it is I2 minus I1. Let me simplify this that is 0 is equal to. So this will be minus J1 I2 plus here I can write it as 2I2 minus 2I3 plus so 1 multiplied with these two I will get I2 minus I1 plus J1 will be multiplied with this that is J1 I2 minus J1 I1. Let me simplify that is 0 is equal to here we have minus J1 I2 here we have plus J1 I2. So this and this will get cancelled. So 2 I2 and this I2 this will be 3 I2 we have minus 2 I3 then we have minus I1 minus J1 I1. So let me simplify this that is 0 is equal to here we have 3 I2 minus 2 I3 minus I1 is nothing but 1 amp that is 1 minus J1 I1 is nothing but 1 that is 1 minus J1. 1 plus J1 is equal to 3 I2 minus 2 I3. Let me call it as equation 1. Now let me apply KVL to loop I3 that is apply KVL to loop I3. So there is no any voltage sources. So I can write 0 is equal to. So voltage across this is 1 ohm. So voltage across 1 ohm is 1 into I3 plus voltage across 2 ohm is 2 in bracket I3 minus I2. That is 2 in bracket I3 minus I2. That is 0 is equal to we have I3 plus 2 I3 minus 2 I2. That is 0 is equal to we have minus 2 I2 plus 3 I3. Let me call it as equation 1. Now let me solve equation 1 and equation 2. That is solving equation 1 and 2 
we get so this can be you solved using kramer's rule so the first equation is here we have 1 plus j1 so write 1 plus j1 and here it is 0 this is a column vector now let me write the coefficient of i2 is 3 and coefficient of i3 is minus 2 this should be written as 3 minus 2 that is equation 1 and 2 should be represented in matrix form so here we have coefficient of i2 is minus 2 coefficient of i3 is 3 so here the column vector is i2 i3 so now we supposed to find the determinant of this that can be represented as delta that is delta is equal to determinant of this that is 3 into 3 minus minus 2 into minus 2 that is 3 into 3 is 9 minus product of these two that is 4 which is equal to 5 this is we know that this is this column represent coefficient of i2 this column represent coefficient of i3 so here we need to find the current through r so in current through r i3 is flowing so let me calculate i3 so to calculate i3 this i3 column should be replaced by these values i2 column should be kept as it is that is 3 minus 2 this column is replaced by these values that is 1 plus j1 0 we have to find determinant of this divided by delta that is i3 is equal to this into this is 0 and we have to minus this term into this term that is 2 plus j2 divided by 5 that is i3 is equal to 2 by 4 is 0 0.4 plus j 0 0.4 so this can be represented in polar form as i3 is equal to 0 0.5656 at an angle of 45 degree amps so this is the current through r that is 0 0.5656 at an angle of 45 degree thank you for watching